What is up guys, today we're going to be checking out Battlestar's Midway playing challenge number 2, saving to Loggy. This is one probably one of the most frustrating um, ch uh, playing uh, challenges in Battlestar's Midway and I'm here to basically explain it to you guys in post commentary how to properly do this. As you see, we start at protect of the airfield. Um, protecting the airfield, what we, you need to do is that immediately you want to start la start launching all four of your A6M0 fighters. These are the only planes you can spawn in at the time. So yeah, you can only spawn, uh, launch in zeros, spawn um, all four squadrons of zeros, and let, and let them get flying and get to the um, south area of the map because immediately you will have some B B-17 squadrons that will be coming after you. These B these B-17s these usually come in raises of two squadrons. But there's multiple squadrons that usually come in. Um, basically, you need to send all your zeros to attack these squadrons. If you have all four of them running at running around, like if you have four, all four of them all launched in, uh, I suggest that you have two zero squadrons per um, per B-17 squadron, as they can be. Is that they can probably, you probably need to use all the firepower you can get in this fight. So, anyways. So, and also periodically check on your plane to see if they're doing it right, because the AI is kind of bad at trying to take down some plane, some of these planes, and they're not very well accurate. So, yep, I can I start going on to these uh, B-17s. Already shot down one of the B-17s in that squadron. Blow up to this plane the squadron, and basically start firing at the B-17s. As you see, I do some severe damage to the B-17, and it, like... On, it is on like fire basically and it's still flying I don't know how it's possible so as you see each squadron each squadron that comes around um, once you eliminate one squadron a new squadron of B-17s will come in so you'll for your squads for the squadrons that were attacking the, the um, one squadron that was eliminated quickly switch to the other new squadron that comes out because you don't want to waste any time for it to get them closer to your airfield Four B-17s planes will eliminate the airfield if you're not careful. So, as you see, usually two fighter squadrons per B-17 squadron, and that's probably the most efficient way to properly do it. Like I said, period periodically check your uh, uh, squadrons to see if they're, do if they're um, doing a good job at these uh, B-17s. Because these, B because these B-17s can be tough. Especially with their uh, many rear gunners all around them, you need to eliminate the rear gunners. Well, not that I mean the. You need to eliminate the B-17 as fast as you can, and try not to get into his in a uh, certain position where you can be easily shot down. Also, keep in mind that when there there is a time when um, eventually one of your fighter squadrons will get shot down, like all your fighter squadrons in that will be eliminated. Immediately launch a new fresh squadron of fighters to repl in replace of them because you do not want to waste any time and to make you uh, make the B-17s get closer to your um, airfield and keep on and uh, keep on on uh, keep an eye on on the map see what's going on um, don't don't like waste any time with there's an opportunity to eliminate these B-17s. Um, so yeah, there's usually, there's, I don't know how many in total, I think it's around like, 8 to 10, or something, B of uh, B-17s, you want to be careful on that, you want to be, you want to be cautious on that, on the, what's going, what's around you, avoid getting shot by the B-17 rear gunners, because they can eliminate your zeros really quickly if, if you're not careful. So, try to aim to where you think you can possibly hit the plane, as you see. Um, work efficiently and and fast and we have two more squadrons remaining so also to keep in mind uh, in the near the end of this fight as you see I have down I'm down to two more B-17 squadrons and right now as soon when I start attacking uh, I will try to eliminate one of those squadrons and eliminate two of the two of the three B-17 squad, squad, uh, B-17 planes in that one other squadron because you want to save time to like get a fresh new fighter squadron because eventually your numbers in your squadrons will dwindle a little bit. Um, they usually dwindle a little bit because of, uh, they can easily get shot down by the B-17 rear gunners. Um, 
if your planes are usually down, if your planes are, like, if your squadrons are all in, like, squads of three planes per squadron, then that's good. You don't need to, like, re, uh, restock new planes and stuff like that. But if you're, but if you have squadrons near the end of this fight with less than three, uh, fighters, land, you want, you probably want to land them and get a fresh new squadron. Leave one, one squadron out there to, um, fin finish at least two of the three B-17 planes in the last squadron. That's what I like to do here. Sure, it's going to take damage on the airfield, but it's worth it. You need extra time, and it's not going to destroy the airfield. So, if you so, so replace all your squadrons that have less than three planes in that squadron. It's, to save more time, crash your planes into the crash your planes into the water and land, because it will save much more time, and you have plenty of fighter planes to restock. So. This is what I do here. Ram all my zero squadrons to save some time. I know this is suicidal, but it's worth it because you need as, as much as time as you get to get a fresh new um, squadron. So as you see, the B I wait until the B-17's uh, payload hits the airfield so it doesn't hit damage any of the zeros that I try to launch. Then I launch the zeros. And once you get the fresh new squadrons of zeros and all the squadrons of zeros that are available and they're all flying again, Head them to the uh, west side of the map because part because they will be needed for part two of this mission. As you see, I launch all my fighter squadrons and head for the um and head for the west part of the map. Now, I usually prefer to have squadrons of three, four squadrons of three planes because it's more efficient that way. So having two squadrons of five and an extra squadron of two will not really work out. It's not efficient. Especially in certain uh, times when you know you need as much as squadrons as you can to eliminate certain bomber planes. So, anyways, I launched my plane. I launched my relaunch my planes, get fresh new fresh new squadrons, and I make them head for the west while the B-17 tries to make it run for it and escape and try to head for the end, uh, battlefield. Uh, this would be an this will give you a lot more give you enough time to get your planes into nearby that west side of the map. So yeah, you don't have to really attack that B-17 as the B-17 will get to the battlefield, the out of the battlefield, and it will despawn, and then part two will start. So yeah, that's pretty much um in in this part. Um, until this, I'm go I'm gonna remain silent for a little bit until uh part two arrives, basically. One thing I forgot to mention, I'm, I like, I have some sort of par, um, I'm sort of paranoid where the fighters always wants to attack these, this last B-17, because I'm afraid this, these B, these fighters will try to get out of the battlefield. That's what I'm also afraid of, and plus they, at that time, they wouldn't catch up to that B-17 plane. So, anyways, part two is about to begin as the B-17 get, gets the heck out of the battlefield, and yeah. My zero zeros are in position for the next what part part of this mission. So let's get this rolling. Am I right? So at this point, you save the airfield. You don't have to worry about the airfield at this point in the mission because that was the only t attack on, that was against on the airfield. So as you see, you save at this mission. Uh, I saved the airfield, which is good. But set, but not real, but not uh, for long. Because now you need to protect destroyers here. Uh, but what you may ask? But with bomber, basically bomber planes, torpedoes, and dauntless and dauntless dive bombers. I don't know why I call it dauntless dive bombers, but dive bombers and torpedo bombers. Now the now the, this could get a little bit. I find this is for me. It's easy to handle because these planes are a lot weaker compared to the B-17, so they can be easily be shot down. So usually there's multiple of these uh, bomber squadrons here, and usually you want to pair um, your squadrons for like one squadron per bomber uh, squadron, because one squadron of three will easily take out a squadron of three bomber planes. To be honest with you, 
And as you see, unlike in, like, there was only two bomber planes from the B-17 part of the mission, there's more planes that will show up, such as here. We have already three squadrons of bomber planes. Like I said, these um, these bombers consist of uh, Dauntless uh, Dive Bombers and TBF Avenger Torpedo Bombers. Now, these destroyers are, the Fubukis are kind of strong, but there's certain things that you have to worry about. First off, about the Dauntless Dive Bombers. Um, Dauntless Dive Bombers can carry, they all carry a thousand, all of these Dauntless Dive Bombers will carry a thousand pound load of, of a bomb. These bombs, depending on how many, uh, these bombs can get a, uh, basically 50-50 chance of your, of a destroyer's magazine to explode. Because dive bombers can easily blow up a destroyer's magazine if they hit it correctly. So that's one thing you have to worry about the Dauntless dive bombers. Now the torpedo bombers, now the AI likes to, um, not have, like, the repair, repair crew for the, um, for the ship, so it doesn't repair the, um, ships. So, it's like, so that means two torpedo, so if, basically two torpedoes of, two torpedoes can eliminate a, a Fubuki class destroyer. So you gotta be very cautious on that, to, as well. But, luckily, on the bright side, these, uh, as a destroyer, as a Fubuki class destroyer, they are, hi they are highly maneuverable, and they can easily maneuver around. They can easily move it around to avoid these torpedoes, so I don't want to say it's a big issue. To be honest, my main big issue is the Dauntless Dive Bombers, as they have a higher chance of eliminating the destroyer with a magazine hit more than tor no, more than torpedo bombers um, getting to a, a destroyer. Now, what I like to do, what I like to, if you're in a position where you have to eliminate either a defend, a uh, torpedo bomber squadron. Or a dive bomber squadron. I recommend getting the dive bomber squadron instead of the uh, torpedo squadron, because you need to um, because torpedoes can less likely hit uh, a destroyer than a bomb, than a bomb, and the bomb could critically one shot basically your uh, destroyer with a magazine hit. Um, also forgot to mention these. There's 20 waves of these bomb. There's 20 squadrons of these bomber planes. 10 TBF Avengers and 10 SPD Dauntless. So yep, pair your just pair your fighters into into one fighter squadron per bomber plane. As you see, there's more than four of bomber planes that usually spawn in, but you're gonna have to keep up with the time of the of them spawning in. So you gotta keep up with the pace. Don't like try to slow down and try to eliminate try to eliminate the bomber planes as much as fast as possible. Wait, I don't even know that is proper English, but yeah. As you see, my I'm doing fairly well. I had I don't think I haven't lost a single plane yet, and my fighters are doing their job at eliminating some of these bomber planes. So it, there's not really an issue. One thing is that you gotta have to be very be careful on certain on some of these fighters planes. They tend to go off to, to like if you order them to go to um attack a target, they will do they will. If there's another target in front of them before, before they get to their actual target, they will start attacking those um, those uh, bomber squadrons, and it tends to um, distract them. And it's like the problem is is that um, I don't want them to I don't want them to do, I don't want two squadrons to attack one bomber squadron because you need to spread out your forces. So as you see, if you roughly get around like two to one bomber squadron. Like, as you see, I have only, uh, I think both of them are Avenger, uh, torpedo bombers. Usually at this time, you probably want to have your zeros to, to, uh, move out and get to the east side of the map. Because, if, if you have, like, around, like, three plane, three, uh, bomber planes left, like, of Dauntless or, uh, dive bombers, uh, Dauntless dive bombers or TBF uh, torpedo bombers. You don't have to really worry about that anymore because it won't sink. I'm uh, most likely it won't sink a destroyer. So as you see, um, I only have one squadron of Dauntless dive bombers. They're really not. Um, it's most likely chance. There's a most likely chance that it doesn't get a magazine hit. Luckily in this map, uh, in this mission, I meant. Uh, so yeah. So around when you get one or two squads remaining, you probably want to head. You have your um the. 
Have your fighters move to the east side of the map to prepare to fight the next assault that will come after that will come after you, basically. Now, one thing I also forgot to mention, you don't need to protect both destroyers. You need to have at least one destroyer to, to stay to remain alive, to remain uh, operational, basically. If you so yeah, that's pretty so that's nice how they give you two destroyers instead of one. But yet again, they can be easily they can easily sink if they uh, are unlucky and get magazine hits and torpedo hits. So as you see, I checked to see what's going on. I think some of them hit the hit the um, Yukizuki, but and it starts taking on some water, but it survives. It uh, the ship survives. So use the time for them. Use your time to get your fighters to the east side of the map, while as the destroyers take out the remaining the um, bombers. You don't have to really worry about those bombers because they will be shot down by a by um, AA because they will just fly around and don't do anything. Seriously. So yeah. Um, this ain't, this isn't the, like, this part of the, this part of the mission is not, you're about to, like, see why a lot of people hate this, mi this mission so much. You're about to see, basically, this next assault is probably the most frustrating amongst uh, players in this mission. So once you save your destroyers, you think, oh, wait, you do, you do, I think there's nothing to worry about anymore. But really, um, no, you gotta, we gotta protect the... Um, shipyard or the jetty buildings. I don't know why they call it like that. But in this time, you have all don't all SPD Dauntless dive bombers coming after you, and you need to protect the shipyard, basically. And there's multi and it's like it's like the spawn rate around these these uh, Dauntless dive bombers is is like the ones in the second in the previous part. So like I said, pair your fighters one. Pair your fighters. Um, into one fight, one fighter squadron per bomber squadron. Now, what makes it do so difficult is that the close, the close distance amongst these bombers and um, the close distance to the spawn, the spawn of these beasts of uh, these Dauntless dive bombers and the um, shipyard, which is quick. As you see, you're pretty much you have basically half the. Um, distance compared to the second part of the mission so that makes it more difficult not only that if four if four Dauntless dive bombers make their payload onto the jetty building you're it's game over for you so you got to be careful on that as you see there's 15 squadrons of these Dauntless dive bombers you need to like make you need to like keep up with the pace and Try to eliminate these bombers as fast as you can before mo new Dawn's dive on spawn. And as you see, the spawn rate is sort of similar to the amount of the amount of time of like the previous part of the mission with the with the combination of torpedo and dive bombers. So that's what makes it difficult because you have half the distance to get to the to get to the shipyard for these bombers, and four bombers of these da four Dauntless dive bombers will eliminate the shipyard. And, it, and another thing that causes an issue for me is that some of these fighter squadrons, they tend to, um, like, like I said, what I said before, they, t if you, to if you tell them to attack something, they will attack, um, if there's like a certain target that's nearby, they will attack that target even though that's not even their actual target that you told them to attack, which makes it frustrating because you don't have, because you're making one, uh, squadron of dive bombers. To come to like run free to get to the shipyard, and you don't want to waste any time and don't want to get them any close to that shipyard. So it's probably one of the most difficult challenges, like I said here. So, but if you time it right, and hopefully your uh, the AI is not dumb and doesn't attack the same squadrons as like other fighters are shooting at. Um, if that sort of situation happens, I say you probably want to switch to one of those fighter squadrons and eliminate that squadron so they can actually attack their target. Because you don't, like I said, you don't want them to get any close to the to the shipyard. As you see, it starts to get a little bit close as the fight as the um, Dauntless dive bomber starts to close in. But luckily, these heroes are up are keeping up with the pace, and um, we managed. And I think we managed to get some of these guys uh, eliminated before they even get to their diving position. So. As you see, five remain five remain of these enemy squadrons. So, 
it starts to work really nice for me. I'm not sure if I, I think it was just luck for me. I'm not sure. You just gotta hope that you're lucky. Hope that the AI is not dumb and it attacks different targets that you want them to do. And hopefully you time it right and they won't like cause any uh, issues. As you see, um, I start to get a little worried because I see a Dauntless Dive Bomber close to zone. So I start to get a little worried. But, and also as that, my zero start getting shot down, which is another issue. But luckily, um, like some of these rear gunners are not accurate. Like, so it's, you're lucky that they're not super, um, there's not many gunners like in the first part of the mission with the B-17s. So as you see, I tried to eliminate these zeros, and as you see, um, this Dauntless Dime Bomber almost got to that type in position of the, of the jetty building. So thank god. And then once you have one enemy squadron remaining, you're pretty much like, yes, yes. Like, you'll probably want to, like, scream out loud or something. That's what I feel at sometimes, because this is probably one of the most frustrating and most painful part of, the, part of this challenge and in all of Midway, uh, Battle Stage of Midway. So, uh, once, you once you eliminate all those Dauntless Dive Bombers, you can take a breather and breathe for a moment. Just pause the game, breathe, because the worst part is over. Now we get to the easiest part of the mission, which is to stop this invasion. As you see, you have two transport ships that are coming into your um position. You need to eliminate these transport ships and the the landing ships that it deploys. These these planes can be easily sunk. Uh, the planes. These ships can be easily sunk with your uh, strafing, with strafing attacks on, by hitting the deck of the of uh, the um, transport ship, as you see right here. As you see, they easily explode and lose their whole uh, strength. And once that happens, they're basically done for. But watch out for all the machine gun fire coming from the um, Higgins, because the Higgins landing boats they have quite like if you have a whole bunch of them. They can take out a lot of your um be take a lot of your uh, zeros if you're not paying attention. Not only for that, not only that is that they're quite, actually kind of faster than the um Japanese landing boats, so you got a little bit less time. But they easily, but like I said, in just a quick second or two, they're gone. They can easily be strafed down by your zeros. Sure, you can also use bombs on the on the transport ships, but I think it takes lesser time to strafe them down than using bomb bombing and techniques. So, or bombing planes. As you see, the destroyers will also help you trying to eliminate some of these, um, some of these, uh, Higgins landing boats. They can easily, like, use artillery and AA flak to, uh, eliminate those, uh, Higgins landing boats. I don't, I don't think, I think the beast, I think the transport ships are out of range of the destroyers, so they can't fire at the transport ships. But anyways... Just strip the um, Higgins landing boats, and that's pretty much it. It's not a big. This is probably the easiest part of the mission. So it's the reliever, and once all of those, once all Higgins boats and transport ships are sunk, it is a mission completion. You saved Tulagi. Congratulations, you completed probably one of the most hardest uh, battle stages, midway challenges. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, com post commentary about this challenge, and hopefully you learned something from here and s see how you can properly do this um, mission. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which we will finish off with the next, uh, the final plane challenge here, which I believe is, I don't know, uh, it's attack. Oh yeah, it's attack on four C. So anyways, we're going, to, we're going to see the stats and see how we did. I think I got a gold medal on this one. I don't think there's not even any secondary or uh, pri or hidden objectives, really. So, yeah. Victory! Saving two lucky. Gold medal, right there. And, yeah. And primary objectives are completed. And as you see, they lost a lot. And I mean a lot of planes in this one. It's amazing how the um, American industry managed to supply more of these planes. <laughs> Alright. Hope to see you guys in the next final plane challenge mission in, po in a how-to post commentary on Attack on 4C. See you guys later, guys.